So hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to do camera movement in Premiere Pro with text. Once again, you need the Sapphire plugin. So to start off, you want to have your clip ready. I've got mine right over here. Since we are going to be tracking text, we need to place some text over this clip. You want to press T on your keyboard, which will allow you to create a text box. So I'm just going to highlight this area around here, put in your text. So I'm just going to put dusk, highlight it all, and I'm just going to change the font as well. This is the font I'm going to be using. You also want to readjust it, so place it where you want it to be. I'm just going to make this box a little bit small so that should be fine. Scroll down until you find this position and scale. What I'm just going to do is just increase this and move it down a little so maybe around here. I'm also going to add some shadows so I'm just going to select a colour. I'm going to pick black and then I'm going to change up some of these settings. Copy me if you like. I'm just going to set this to 80 set this to zero set this to i think 12 and then this last one to 60. now i'm going to trim this down a little to my clips length just going to readjust it a little bit more around here i'm also going to make it a little bit longer so around there i'm going to be using three pieces of text so this is going to be the first one that appears and so i'm just going to push this up below it are going to be two more so you want to duplicate these layers by holding alt on your keyboard i think it's command if you're on mac but what you want to do is hold alt and then just click and drag it down let go and it should duplicate it i'm going to reduce the second one by a few seconds so around here in fact maybe a little bit more about there so that looks about fine and what i'm going to do is just readjust that as well move it down to where you want it to be make it a little bit bigger if you want i'm also going to change up the text so press t on your keyboard or just select the text tool here type in something else i'm going to type in till and then just readjust it a little bit more over here a little bit bigger as well and i'm going to repeat this step so just duplicate make it a little bit smaller move it down reposition it and then just change up the text. So I'm going to type in Dawn, but as you can see, it's a bit too large. So I'm just going to make it a bit bigger and move it a little bit towards the left. I might also space out the text a little. So I'm just going to head back to the first text, move it up, move the second one up a little as well. Same goes for the third one, just a little bit. Now what you want to do is add a fade to the beginning of each text. So just right click at the beginning of the text and click on apply default transitions. The cross dissolve effect should appear. You want to just double click on that and you want to change it to something like six. Click on okay and just repeat this with the other text. Right click, apply and then change it to six. So now they all fade in. Next, we are going to add the camera movement. So you want to create an adjustment layer and place it on top of your clips. Search for the warp transform effect, the one underneath Sapphire Distort and drag it onto the adjustment layer. The first thing you want to do is change the wrap X and the wrap Y to reflect. At the beginning of the adjustment layer, you want to keyframe the shift x y and also the z disk and this is where we create the camera movement so it's not going to be the same for you because your text might be somewhere else like around here or over there but just follow along with what i do and take note of how i do it so what i want to do is zoom into this text that fades in i've already made the keyframes at the beginning i'm just going to add more keyframes at the beginning of this text and what it's going to do is zoom in so i'm just going to set the z disk to around 0.6 and then just move the shift x y to where the text is so I think it's around here. Let me just check. Nope, it needs to be a little bit higher. You can move these keyframes to the text uh, and then just adjust it. And then of course, move them back once you're done. Next up, we're going to zoom in onto the keyframes and we're going to do some graphing. So click on the arrows to bring up the graph and we're going to pull this all the way to the left. Same goes for the one at the bottom. Pull it all the way to the left. Now it does scale in nicely, but it doesn't look good for what we're trying to achieve. The bumps on the graphs are where it speeds up the most. We want it to look a bit smooth. So I'm just going to pull this down a little and to the right maybe around there and i'm going to do the same thing with this one as well pull it to the right it still looks really stiff so we're just going to pull these keyframes to the right and this one as well in fact i'm going to move these keyframes a bit ahead so maybe around here because otherwise it creates this really long pause but once we are happy with this scale we're going to move ahead a little maybe like two frames ahead of the second text and we're going to scale this out a little so i'm going to put 0.75 just like that reposition it and we're going to apply the same technique as we did before we're going to make a smooth curve so make a graph that looks something like this don't forget the one at the bottom as well once again it's very stiff around this area so we're just going to expand it a little around there and as you can see it looks much smoother so it creates like a small bounce so far it should look something like this 
repeat once again so two frames ahead of the next text if you're finding it hard to zoom in onto the keyframes all you need to do is head back all the way to the beginning and then drag it to the left then head over to where you're going to apply the keyframes i'm going to make this zoom out a little bit more so i'm going to put 0.95 reposition as well create the smooth curve now since this does last for a long time as you can see it just keeps on going i'm going to have to pull these keyframes right to the end or at least close to the end so since i've pushed it back a little bit more it's going to look like this i'm going to make it spike up a little bit more at the beginning so i'm just going to pull this forward this one as well i'll push these back a little bit more and you should get something that looks like this at the end it's really not the best looking but it does depend on where your text is placed you can see that all my text are bundled up together which can make the camera movement look really stiff since it's not really moving that far away like if it was down here then it would look much better if overall this movement looks really stiff you can add some s shape but make sure it's placed above the warp transform effect and just copy down my settings so amplitude should be one frequency should be two for the x shape you want to set both of these to zero but for the wave amp you want to put 20 leave that to 0.5 and repeat with the y shake so 0 0 20 tilt shake should go 0 0 0 0.5 and then 0 0.5 again so once you do play it back it's going to add a nice bounce and overall it makes it look so much better anyways that is pretty much what you need to do there is no other method that i could find it's very difficult to do a camera movement in premiere pro but other than that thank you for watching have a great day and i will see you next time so yeah peace